Morning, everybody. World according to Rob. A lot happier today than I was in that last episode. I got a little bit out of shape. Not wearing my proud to be Canadian shirt today, but I'm still very proudly Canadian. Show's had a little mix of humor and serious and me beginning losing my mind. But uh, today, I'm going to talk on a serious note now. In the past and just recently, uh, I've had some young people concerned about a World War III and what a, the potential of a World War III would do to humanity on this planet. And my reply to them was always this, and in my mind I saw it as this. Every government that has, every country that has nuclear, power, uh, nuclear weapons, Weapons of mass destruction that could end this planet, or end us. <laughs> the planet will stay, but end all the life on this planet. They know full well that if somebody pushes that button, that it's going to end the world. Do they want to do that? Do they want to be a part of ending civilization? My answer is no, unless they're absolutely insane. Might be a couple out there, but so what I did was, uh, I'm not always right, but that was my estimation. So I did a little research. Albert Einstein said, I know not with what weapons World War III will be fought with, but World War IV will be fought with sticks and stones. That speaks for itself right there. If there's a World War III, there isn't going to be anything anything left. And if there was a World War IV, we're going right back to the Stone Age. Sticks and stones and break your bones. Very wise words. Now, uh, one world leader that I was able to find some information, he was asked the same question. This went to uh, uh, Russian President uh, Vladimir Putin. And I know I've called him a dictator and there's all these other things, you know, he's got sanctions against him right now. But, but what he said and, and what I read sound very uh, from the heart and very, very honest, a very honest answer. Now, this is a bit long-winded, but I'll get through it. Vladimir Putin said that the understanding that a third world war would be the end of civilization should restrain us from taking extreme steps on the international arena that are highly dangerous to modern civilization. The threat of mutual destruction has restrained leading military powers and made them respect each other. So, again, he's reiterating what uh, pretty much what Einstein had said. All right? they, they understand completely what the results of somebody pushing that button and starting World War Three. All right, it's the it's not like back in the Second World War when you had limited weapons. All right, aside from the atomic bomb, but uh, now. It's a totally different world, and one push of a button, everybody sends their missiles, we are done, all right? So so the leading military powers understand that, okay? So in my mind, there is a need for these leading military powers to have that technology, all right? And, and to have a stockpile of it so that they could say to others coming along who want that technology, that want that power, you know what? You're not having it. <laughs> as they've tried to do, you know, as they have done with Iran and uh, North Korea is flexing their muscles saying that they've got it, all right, that they have nuclear weapons and they have a stockpile and they're going to start launching missiles at the United States. Well, it's a bunch of BS. They're not going to do it. It's all just puff me up, look at me, I'm tough. You know, no, it's not going to happen because the world isn't going to allow it. The, the, the supreme or the major powers, the military powers, as I said, understand what the results of this would be, and uh, you know they are the watchdog. They're the police, all right, to keep an eye on other countries uh, that 
you know, aren't as understanding, let's say, of exactly or care about what it could do. But in, in my mind, it's all just um, political posturing and everything else. Nobody's going to push that button. Because they understand, you know, they understand exactly what that means. So uh, hopefully that answered the question, answered the question that I've asked many times, especially by younger people that are very concerned about that. And uh, uh, they don't want to see their world in. It's causing them anxiety and, and, and uh, you know, making them feel uh, uneasy about the future of this world. So, you know what, carry on with your lives. In my estimation, and according to uh, Vladimir Putin uh, and uh, Einstein as well, <laughs> don't believe that anybody is going to actually push that button. I pretty much would bet whatever I've got, which isn't a whole lot, I'll bet that nobody's going to do that. So, uh, But one disconcerting uh, event is that uh, the United States, is, Donald Trump, is trying to pull out of those agreements and those treaties. Uh, but again, he's doing that just as a, a flex of his muscle and uh, pulling out of it, you know, puts him in a position of power. Well, you know what? Nobody's going to let you away with it. So uh, anyway, hopefully that answered your question. Young people, everyone, uh, no World War Three, not going to happen. Uh, uh, as far as, you know, nuclear weapons and things like that, not going to happen. All right. Have a happy life. Get on with your lives. Uh, I'm trying not to worry too much about the political spectrum. It's driving me insane because it's nuts. It's absolutely insane. So Rob says no more. I'm uh, sorry. Rob says no World War Three. Okay. Have a great day, folks, and take care.